Where have we heard this before? The Blue Jays get a ton of base runners and a lot of them were just given to them and they can't come through with a big hit. They lose 8-3 to the New York Yankees today in the series finale. They drop the series 2 out of 3 and they fall to 4-6 and six to start the season. And I'm going to keep this thing on until, until they start putting something together here. They win tomorrow against Seattle. This stays on. Maybe it's some sort of lucky mechanism. I don't know. But this offense looks deceased. Your four, five, six hitters today in Alejandro Kirk, Kevin Biggio, and Ernie Flippin Clement, who again barely made your roster, were awful. And Alejandro Kirk, who is your cleanup hitter, your number four batter, has not hit an extra base hit all season long. No home runs, no doubles, and of course no triples. And that's your cleanup guy. In the finale, in a a divisional game, trying to win the series here. The team's no good. Meanwhile, David Schneider is still on the bench. Oh, because there's a righty on the hill. I don't give a crap. He's one of your better nine hitters. What is Isaiah Connor falefa doing that uh, David Schneider isn't? Like, really? Meanwhile, Belton Varsho has been an awful watch as an understatement. Hit a buck 33 on the season, and it has been awful for this team offensively. Now, it doesn't help. That you're down 5 nothing, Actually, 5-1, excuse me. After the third inning. Because Bowden Francis could not throw strikes. And then when he did, it was a grand slam by Giancarlo Stanton. And that's the difference right there between their miserable players and our miserable player. Their guy can find a nut once in a while. You know the saying, blind squirrel finds a nut? Well, Giancarlo Stanton can do that. And he found it today. Whereas Isaiah Connor falefa cannot do that. And in that top of the third inning, you have the bases loaded. And two out, because Luis Hill cannot find the zone. And Alejandro Kirk walks, and you're like, oh, great, whoop de doo we're up one nothing. Now let's see if we can continue to pile on here. Now Bichio goes down looking on a full count pitch. Okay. And then they counter with five runs of their own because Bowden Francis, once he gets a couple base runners on, really caved in. Walk the Anthony Rizzo with the bases loaded to score a run. In comes as well to Cabrera. And when you knock, walk the number nine hitter as he did to Cabrera, uh, you're asking for trouble. You are. And then Giancarlo Stanton comes up and he hits a grand slam and you're down 5 1. Just like that. And with a 5 1 deficit, this team looks cooked. And then you think, okay, well, maybe some opportunities. Top of the fifth inning, Vladi hits a, a really hard ground ball that goes all the way to the wall. He gets a double. Good for him. And then Bo, Lee, Bo gets a double, scoring Vladi. And we're like, okay, I mean, 5-2. You got another guy in scoring position. Maybe we can string something together. They got another base runner on. You're thinking, okay, maybe with only one out. You know, you get nothing more. Then the top of the sixth inning. Again, you have the bases loaded. Bases loaded, or no, sorry, it was a bases loaded, yeah, it was bases loaded and one out for Vladi. And he jams himself, shatters his bat on an RBI ground out, or fielder's choice, I guess. Scoring IKF, sure, makes a 5 3, but the bases loaded. Well, there we go, thank you for focusing. And then Bo comes up and he gets hit by a pitch, and you're like, oh God, you know, that's not what you want to see. But now the bases are loaded again for Alejandro Kirk with the tying run at in scoring position, and he fouls out. It's a painful watch. It, it just really is. Then the bottom of the sixth inning, an awful pitch from Trevor Richards, can't get blocked by Kirk. Anthony Volpe scores on a wild pitch. It was curtains at that point. It went down 6-3. It was curtains already. It, they had so many opportunities. How many walks did the Jays have today? Uh, they walked six times. I think were all Luis Heal. He had four of them. And then Jake Cousins came on and gifted you some opportunities. But you couldn't capitalize. 
and they struck out 11 times, and the Jays overall, yeah, five hits. The Blue Jays have, let me let me do the numbers here. One, two, three, four. By the way, your top four hitters today are hitting under 200. You also have Varsho hitting under 200. David Schneider is at 200. IKF at 208. And oh, look at that. Kevin Kiermeyer, not even 100. And Bijo is hitting 240. And Ernie Clement was your high, highest batting average guy today at 280. This offense has been putrid to say the least. And it didn't help you give a grand slam to Giancarlo Stanton. But holy crap, it's been awful. Pitching wise, what'd you get? About in Francis, three innings, only allowed two hits. But one left the ballpark. And all the bases were loaded. Five runs, all were earned. Five Ks, three walks in the game. Paolo Espino kind of kept it interesting. Two scoreless innings, two hits and a walk. That was it. Tim Meza allowed... Or was it, no, it was Richards who came in for the wild pitch. But it was, I think it was Meza's inherited run. Um, so Meza gets the earned run on one hit, one walk, cup, uh, two-thirds of an inning. Trevor Richards goes in inning, allows a couple walks, gets the wild pitch, strikes out two, I guess. And Hennessy Cabrera wasn't really good in his inning in the third. Three hits, two runs, both were earned in a strikeout. You lost again. You're four and six now on the season, and you come back home taking on the Seattle Mariners, who have been struggling recently. They lost 12 4 today to the uh, Milwaukee Brewers, and they are four and six on the season, and their pitching staff has been awful to start the season. But guess what? Good pitching be- uh, beats good hitting, and listen to the three, pl- the three pitchers that Seattle's throwing out against the Blue Jays starting tomorrow night for the home opener. Luis Castillo versus Jose Barrios is the matchup tomorrow. Then you have George Kirby and Chris Bassett. Then you got Logan Gilbert and Yusei Kikuchi. You have their best three guys going out there, and I don't care what their record is, and I don't care Luis Castillo has a 675 ERA and George Kirby has an ERA North 5. Those are two of the two of the better starters in the American League. And this Jays offense is no good right now. Now, will coming home and the vibes at Rogers Center change things? We'll see. But boy, through the first 10 games, it has been a painful watch for this team. It really has. So I'm going to wrap it up there. You know what, guys? That's going to do it for this one. If you enjoyed the video and not the game today, because it stunk. And if you're a Yankee fan and loved it, because you probably did, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. You guys haven't done so already. Comment down below. Thoughts on the video. Thoughts on this game. Thoughts on this team overall. All that stuff down below. Go crazy. Uh, Twitter, Discord, Instagram, and of course, TikTok is down below as well. Follow up there if you haven't done so already. And I'll talk to you guys Leafs edition tomorrow night. It'll be later than usual because I'll be at the Jays game. Uh, Leafs and Penguins at Scotiabank Arena at 7. Raptors, 6 o'clock today. In about a few minutes here, they'll be going up against the Washington Wizards at Scotiabank Arena tonight. <coughs> oh, and as for the Blue Jays, they play in their home opener tomorrow. Luis Castillo, Jose Barrios at 7.07 at Rogers Center. For the love of God, show a pulse and find a way to win. Thank you guys so much for listening and watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And obviously not this game. We'll talk to you guys then.